We're going to start our Mandarin pronunciation mastery by learning how to say all the words that appear in the Chinese dictionary that start with the letter A. Now, the letter A in pinyin is different from the letter A in English. The letter A in English has a long A and a short A. And the long A sounds like A, and the short A sounds like A, ah, like bat. But in Mandarin, the A in Mandarin sounds like the English ah. So think of it like you're going to the doctor and the doctor says, open your mouth and say ah. Well, that's what you have to do in order to say the Mandarin A. You have to open your mouth and say ah. So you open your mouth, you drop your tongue, and you say ah. Now let's practice that on all four tones. I'll say it first, and then you can say it in the silence to yourself. Ah, 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 ah. Let me give you the tone markings again. I start with the first tone, then I do the second tone, then I do the third tone, and then I do the fourth tone. Let me do this slowly this time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now the second word is the word I in, in pinyin. And it looks like A-I in English. However, it's pronounced like the English I, like the I that you see with. So, let me erase this, and let's practice it on all the four tones. Again, I'm going to write the tone markings, but not the word. This is the word I. So on first tone, it's like this. I, second tone, I, I, I. Let me say it one more time. I, 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 I. Now you say it. I, 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 I. The next word is the word an. In English, this looks like the word an, like I ate an orange for breakfast yesterday. But an in pinyin equals the English on, like on the top of the mountain. Let me write the tone marks up again as we practice this one. On, on first tone, on, on, on second tone, on, on, on third tone, on, on, on fourth tone, on, 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 on. Now when we're going through this, I really encourage you to use your hand because your hand will help direct your voice what to do and I find that students who use the hand motions for the different four tones often speak better than those who don't. So, so far we've gone through ah, 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 I, 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 on, 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 on. But now we're going to do one more which is ang. Now this ang is what we call a diphthong and your throat, in the back of your throat, is closing on it. Ang, ang. And when that happens, your tongue is going up. The tongue is touching the top of your mouth. Ang. If I were to drop my, my tongue, then the sound would come out. Ang, 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 ang. You just do that with me. Ang, 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 ang. So your tongue, the back of your tongue, not the front of your tongue, the back of your tongue is now cutting off the sound, but you're continuing to hum on the ah. Ang, 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 ang. So now let's do this on all four tones. First tone, ang. Second tone, ang, ang, ang. So as you can see, 
Mastering Mandarin pronunciation is a lot like singing. The people who can sing well master Mandarin pronunciation. This last pinyin word in the A category is the word ow. It's like the English ow, like ow, that hurt, or bow wow, which was the first word that my daughter learned how to say after she learned how to say mama and dada. She learned how to say bow wow because our neighbor had a dog that would run in the backyard. So this A-O in Mandarin is pronounced like the English ow, and it sounds like this, ow, 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 ow. I'll say it first, then you repeat after me. Ow, 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 ow. Very good. So you have just mastered the first five words in pinyin on all four tones.